So, so something that's, that's consuming a lot of uh, cycle at the moment is the difference between the public cloud, whether it's Microsoft's cloud or Google's or Amazon or Salesforce, right. and the private cloud. So when we as Microsoft talk about you know, the difference between the public and the private cloud, what, what do we mean there? What's, what's the differentiation between the two? So we have computing, right? And we were running basically OS to hardware. Yeah. Traditional computer. Then came virtualization. Yeah. Which basically brought multiple instances of the operating system. It, it, it decoupled the OS from hardware, yeah. and then you can run multiple instances um, of the operating system and workloads on the same machine. Yeah. And what it do does is it increases the utilization. Yeah. That that's what it was doing, and it, it's been doing that in mainframe and all for years. It came to x86 about ten years, maybe now eleven years, twelve years ago. Then came, well, if I'm virtualizing as a user, as an administrator, what if I can automate all those instances, yeah. right? To do more of um, load balancing, some elasticity, move VMs around, et cetera. Yeah. And that started with things like live migration and all that, that are part of Hyper-V, for example. Yeah. And that, the, the term that got coined once you put automation on virtualization yeah. is the private cloud. Yeah. And then we define it in a second. Okay. And then, of course, the public cloud, and we'll talk about that in one second. So once virtualization is automated, uh, that's the private cloud concept where I can move virtual machines from one box to another box within a cluster of servers. Yeah. Uh, whether that cluster be 20 servers, 50 servers, 100 servers, is irrelevant. Right? It's, it, that's, that's the concept of the cloud. Yeah. And in, in this concept, we, your question was, what does Microsoft have? Our offerings here are Windows Server. Uh, system center to manage the virtual machines yeah. and the Hyper-V that comes as part of Windows Server. Yeah. Right. And then the workloads that run on them can be any, uh, whether it be SQL, Exchange, uh, SharePoint, irrelevant. The workloads run within a VM. This is the private cloud from Microsoft. Of course, there are other private clouds also. But it's virtualization and the automation that's built in. We also recently released System Center Virtual Machine Manager Subservicing Forum, yeah. which actually takes the our virtualized infrastructure and puts automation on top and yeah. then extends it to partners, whether they be storage partners or network partners or hardware partners. So people can innovate, right? And then comes the concept of public cloud. Okay. And public cloud, I'll go back to how we do our public cloud and that's the Azure, yeah. where we run the, uh, the data center or the, or the resources for the customer yeah. versus the customer running the resources. Yeah. Here, The customer, meaning the IT department, is responsible for operating, managing, making sure everything is patched, secure. In a public cloud, the vendor, in this case Microsoft, is yeah. responsible for running and making sure everything is available, managed, and patched for the customer, on behalf of the customer. Yeah. So we take away all the IT um, infrastructure overhead, yeah. and we operate for the customer, and that's where the private cloud comes in, public cloud comes in. 